head over to the link in the description that I put to Hosea Clothing. This is one of their t-shirts. And they make some really awesome apparel and clothing you can check out there. What's up guys, welcome back for a new video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, now I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I thought I'd give you some of my top tips for those of you out there who are interested in getting started on YouTube and making a channel for your own and creating some really awesome content. Um, now I know there's some people out there who are really interested in doing stuff like this. Now I had some questions about the kind of equipment and stuff that I use and I thought I'd just do a video informing you about the stuff that I use and I think the best tips and ways that you guys can get started in creating a channel for yourself. Okay, so the first one I wanna talk about is content. Now that is key for when it comes to making videos. Now your content needs to be something that you enjoy doing, something that you're passionate about, something that you uh, get some joy out of. Now this could be a hobby, this could be dancing, it could be music, it could be writing poetry, it could be uh, gaming, it could be anything that you want to do, something that you're passionate about, something that you have a gift in, and something that you just want to be creative with in videos. Or it could be perhaps raising awareness for social issues. You want to promote um, certain messages through your videos and your content, and that's really key too. And let your channel be a place of positivity and joy, and somewhere where people can be inspired and encouraged. If people can see that through your videos, they're going to want to subscribe, because that's what people love to see. They love to see you using your gifts creatively in videos. So the next thing is audience. Who is your content aimed at? What is the audience, the age, the gender, the demographics that you want to um, aim your content for. And once you start producing content, you can actually start to get a look into the people who are watching your videos and your demographics and analytics. You can see the people who um, are responding best to your videos, whether that be male, female, or both, young people, older folk, anyone you can see um, what they're enjoying and you can see who it is that enjoys your video most. So the third thing is equipment. Now this is something that I think everyone asks about when it comes to creating a channel and creating content is what camera do I use? What camera should they start using to create content? No matter what content you want to do, uh, the best advice I give is to start where you are. Start with what you have. A great way to start is just using the camera on your phone. Like I, some of the iPhone cameras now are better than some other, other actual cameras that are out there. So starting with what you have, not having to blow your budget and spend loads of stuff to make it look really professional, but by starting where you are and what you have. So it's not really about the, the, the type of camera you use, but how can you use what you have creatively to make the content you wanna make? Obviously these are just my tips and my opinions that, I, um, that I've learned and things that I've been doing over the past few years. Like I started on my phone making like short films, then moved into a, a Panasonic camera and started using that for a bit and now I'm using a Canon 700D camera with a Rode mic. Um, so you, as you develop, as you create more content, you can start to understand and see, okay, what if I try getting this camera because I want to up my game, I want to look more professional. It's not all about the camera. There are tons of like vloggers and f YouTubers out there who are still shooting stuff on their iPhone, so it's not about the camera. And also with stuff like lighting as well, you don't necessarily have to buy 100 pounds of studio lighting, you can just <clears throat> you can just do like a lamp in your room. Find creative ways that you're able to set up a shot and make it look nice. So just having an iPhone, setting it up on a stand, maybe putting like a couple books um, on a chair, lean it up, have a lamp in the corner to make it brighten it up. There are creative ways that you can make it look nice without having to spend lots and lots of money. And the last thing I want to talk about is editing. There are tons of free apps out there that you can get. I started using iMovie when I started making videos, um, just editing it on my phone, on my iPhone. So if you've got an iPhone, if you've got an Apple product, you can use iMovie on your phone, or you can use Final Cut Pro, any of the uh, Adobe products. And if you have one of the new Apple products, you can actually get iMovie already um, for free on there. There's tons of stuff that you can find, like the App Store or online, free software. So there's like Power Director stuff from the App Store that you can get, iMovie, Final Cut Pro, the things I've talked about. And if you don't have a computer to edit stuff on, there are also some great free um, phone apps you can get from the App Store or from the Android Store as well. So there's InShop, which is really good, really simple, and that's free. Um, and you can do simple video editing stuff on there. There's Splice, which is also really good for simple cuts, nice bit of music and some titles and stuff. Really simple to use, really good stuff, and that's what I've been using as well when I started. And also Magisto Video Editor. There's loads of different stuff that you can, you can find online and from the App Store that you can download. So just have a look for yourself, do some research, and explore and create what you can with the apps you have. 
once you've finished producing your content and you're happy with it, share it on your social media. Get it out there, get it out there on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, share it out for other creators to see. This is a good opportunity to uh, connect up and network with other influencers and other creators and it also gives you an opportunity to share your content for um, new people who haven't seen it and also get to your first couple of subscribers as well. So share your new content over there on your social media and it's a great opportunity to actually get your stuff out there, your content out there for people to see it. Now the final thing that I want to leave you with is you can spend as much time planning, as much time researching, but I encourage everyone, to, if you've got an idea, just go out there and just make it happen, create it, shoot it, film it, and see what you can make out of it. Use your creative ideas, use your giftings to create some really cool content, and do it in your, your own unique style, and don't necessarily feel like you have to follow trends and follow things that have been done before. Create your own unique style, do what you want to do, do what brings you joy and what brings you positivity, what you're passionate about, and people will see that. So yeah, that's my little video that I thought I'd make for anyone out there who's wanting to start uh, making YouTube videos. This is just my top tips and my opinions and things that I think have worked really well for me and think will work really well for you guys as well. But thank you so much for watching, hope you did enjoy it. Um, if you did, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with more videos that I'll be making in the future. Thank you for watching and I go make some awesome content, I'll be excited to see what you can make. <laughs>